thank you to Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. for sponsoring this video. It's time for me to get my bag. And I get it. If you don't care about the sponsor section, at least check out the comments for the discount code KAKA to get $5 off your first purchase for either of the boxes. But Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. were nice enough to send us new boxes to check out. Let's see what they got for us today. Let's check out the boxes for Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. They're kind of denoted by this moon bunny theme, which is funny because if you watch ReZero recently, you know, the great rabbit. This is the Moonfest and Autumn Moon Festival design. Starting with Tokyo Treat, the theme is the Moonfest Spectacular. The seasons are changing, and Japan's lunar party, Skimmy, is almost here. Skimmy is also known as Moon Viewing. It's all about having blasts with family and enjoying delicious seasonal treats. Dive into the fun and savor all the tasty Skimmy inspired snacks in this month's Tokyo Treat box. My favorite, as usual, is the specialty Kit Kat, which is the matcha one. But the garlic shrimp Japanese style chips are also amazing. And this is the rest of the box. And for Soccer Coast side, the theme is Autumn Moon Festival. Basically, it's skimmy, but it seems like there's a specific monthly mention of autumn being the important time to share these special moments and loved ones over seasonal delicacies. One of the snack highlights from this includes the skimmy Mikan Cream Cookie. The black sesame miso arare, the usaki hozui, the kokuto kinako mochi, which is probably my favorite because I just love the texture of the chewy mochis. And then here comes the special piece. Remember, every time soccer code, there's always like a special tableware item. And this one is a skimmy dish plate. Look at the cute bunnies on the side. Here's the sign. And boom, there's the plate. Here. I applaud you with all I got, but technically you might have wasted your time. Why? Because I don't really make money off of you watching the sponsor section of this video. I make the money by you using the affiliate code to buy the product. And I get it. If you don't have a personal interest in this product, no one really likes getting pushed sponsored content in their face. However, I think these boxes could make great gifts for friends and family that wants to experience Japan at the comfort of their own home. And listen, trying to do content creation full time, it's pretty hard. But sponsorships like this along the way definitely does help. And you don't have to use the affiliate code. But if you're generous enough and you'd like to support me trying to do this full time, I would truly appreciate it if you would use the pinned comment affiliate code Kaka for $5 off your first purchase. Now, on to the anime reaction. My man, Godta, defeated a demon lord. Mm -hmm. Now you can say Ranga helped. I don't care. Still won. Gata power scaling is going crazy right now. The fraud Masayuki though refuses to fight, fight anybody. He's a coward. Rizzing up little girls? Mm -mm. That diddler ain't my hero, bro. I want Gata to slay the hero Masayuki, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Masayuki will probably win in a really funny, weird way because I do want to see Rimuru versus Masayuki as well. Let's begin today's reaction. Motosutoka. Oh. What are you doing, Gazelle? Yeah. Alright, we, we gotta get something cleared out first. There is a lot of Gazelle Glazers. I've... Not a lot. It was like two people. And I read a comment of someone saying, Gazelle is strong as Hinata. They are equals. Is this true? We're talking about power scaling. No, 1v1 duel. You telling me Gazelle is Hinata tier. Is this lore accurate? Because maybe I'm disrespecting a character that is lore accurate on the same level as Hinata. Or the Gazal propaganda in the YouTube comment section is going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Your fault for creating these minted dwarven coins accepted by everyone else. We got money, it's just it's not recognizable. Mm. Mm. Oh shit? And she shuts down Gazal hard, right? Like Gazelle is very scared of Elmicia, I think, or at least it seems like it. Elmicia-san! Yeah, I'm going to ask you to ask me. Okay. 
いやその問題はこちらで英語の両国の友好を見据えて協力を申し出たまでですわよいやですから言い出したら最後まで引かぬここは素直に協力してもらって Sounds like he's speaking from personal experience. It just really feels like Almisha has Gaza on like a collar, man. <laughs> Young Gaza, because like to her, obviously, she is like a child, I guess. So whenever he first came into prominence, Almisha was like little broing him. And that's the best part, because Gaza is always trying to big bro us, and it pisses me off, because I know goddamn well if I use Billzy Bub right now, ain't no thing you can fucking do. You can say the same thing about Amicia, but I just don't care because she's hot. But now we have somebody that is big sissing, <laughs> big bro Gaza. <laughs> yeah. Grandfather. Dwarf Kingdom lore. She's pretty relaxed. I'm not sure if this is just an act to let her guard down, but I thought she'd be way more uptight. What was that? He didn't drink it. No, he did drink it, and then he shocked about how good it was. Yeah, he was like, whoa. Alliance? Peace treaty? It's easy for us. Like, damn, you're doing me a favor. I want you. To... She just wants to get involved with the planning of the events as well, right? I wonder if this is just like her leisure or if this is her trying to establish like inner networking with inside of Tempest so that she's in on the stuff that's happening behind the scenes beyond just festivities. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting mental gymnastics. Go again. Royalties are not slaves to the people. Okay. Does it? This is the assumption you gotta make. Like, it makes the people happy when their royalty lives freely. Is this true? Because, like, this is like. <laughs> this is a big assumption you're making, right? Because this is how you're proving how it's a good thing for this to happen. And I don't think people care when royalties live freely. The people are probably oppressed and hate the royalty and want equality for the world. <laughs> yeah, I think that would make everyone happy. Cap. The basis of your argument predates that the people are happy about you royalties living freely, which I don't think is the case, but fuck it, you're hot, so I don't care. Mm. Boom, handshake! It's a deal! Now, if we do take into the ideology that Ryder Iskander showed us in the banquet dialogue, then yes, the people are happy if the ruler is... Such a giga chat and not oppressive, but I whenever whenever I think about royalty and the common people, it's never like that. It's always a corrupt system, right? <laughs> Is that an infinite purse? Thank you. Just pocket change to her, huh? Hmm? What the hell was that? How wonderful, Great Rimuru. Boom! To imply Elmisia... I'm not sure. Was this all planned by her and she knew that we were in dire need for help of cash reserves and she has now confirmed our suspicion? But there wasn't really a secret, right? Or is this a hatred towards demons? It could be that simple. Hatred towards demons and has nothing to do with the money talk. Elves and demons? Hmm. Okay, Aina Koji. If you want to make use of tools, you need to make them feel appreciated and indebted to your servitude. Rather than imposing force and violence over them, it's much easier to manipulate if they feel they're indebted to you. Got it? 
頼まれてもいないのに仲裁に入ろうとするものがなるかもしれないわねでもその人も誰かの操り人形なん自分たちで問題を起こしておきながら恩を売りつけて融通を聞かせようね The mastermind しし Who could it be? この国には信用がないのだと各国の重鎮に見せつけ欲深い実に人間らしいかえっとつまり、うん、自作 If anything, I feel like Diablo and El Misha will be very good friends, racist friends together. Filthy humans. <laughs> I feel like these two might have a lot in common right now, rather than our assumption that El Misha might hate demons. I think <laughs> they could have a fun time together, just shitting on humans. <laughs> Always blame Yuki and Eastern merchants. If I join the council, no, I don't know. My guess is always with Yuki and somehow the Eastern merchants, unless there's a new faction that we're completely unaware of. Western province. I will end them. Yeah, he did just show up. Usually, there's like a special effect of when, like, Soe shows up, but she just appeared already without any special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous. Dangerous. Mm. Yo! Look at that elf queen aura! Sure. Oh, we got our demon hockey too. Okay, so Elmicia's little reaction after what Diablo says something was for Diablo, right? There's like it's a demon after all, right? Demon kinds, they're probably not the most uh I, when you think demon, you think evil, right? So Elmicia's like, what are you gonna do with Diablo? Noir Rimuru has no clue. <laughs> Rimuru has no clue of the demon system. The fact that he has a primordial demon as a servant right now. <laughs> he accidentally summoned him after Megiddo and he's just tired. He's like, all right, you just show up. Sure. He's very dangerous. He won't go on a rampage. Could he? <laughs> that was like a, such a compliment. I was stopping before it came to that. It's the uh, only way to make sure no one's hurt. Like, he wants to get Tampa like He's like, oh, Rimuru-sama, please stop me. Please step on me. He would enjoy that. He would enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. He's mine. Why, why is this such a shock? Is she underestimating Rimuru? There's something different about elf and demon culture that is making me confused. Yeah. Rima's a puppy. <laughs> Mjolnir barely hanging on. The clash of the elf queen hockey and the demon hockey too much. <laughs> Okay, Elmisha is just happy that we're gonna be opposing a demon when the time comes to it. I guess to her, it's unfathomable that he would have done that. But, alright, the suspicions are gone. Diablo is cool with us. Elmisha had her guard up because she's got some stigma towards demons. But hey, you know, Rimuru will handle it. <laughs> sure. Mm. Hey, okay, okay, Gazelle, big bro, I see you. Is she that strong? Am I underestimating her for thinking if I just do Bills above now, what do you what would you do? Does she have an ultimate skill? I'm not asking for spoilers, but really, if you become an enemy to humanity. What if the Tenma War happens and we're facing off the angels? Would you come help us? Probably. I mean, this arc feels like we're really setting up the alliances of 
everyone in this continent that we live in. Well, we haven't gone to the eastern portions there. We haven't got everywhere, but a lot of important world leaders are definitely coming in and enjoying the festivities and making alliances and friendships. So for what at the end of the day? What big opponent do we have beyond what lies beyond the east? Tema worship? Is that going to happen? I don't know. Easy alliance. それじゃ何かあったら私がガゼルちゃんに相談して決して what? Uh, the chef guy, right? Because you really love the modern snacks and desserts. Shameless. Pocket change. There it is! Our cash flow problem solved with the help of Gazelle and Elmicia, both Thyron, Thyron, Tarion Dynasty, the elves, and what is it, the Dwarf Kingdom, right? Gazelle. They have all just helped us. Dwarf Gun, sorry. And now we're all good. Alliance is going everywhere. Money's good. Let's get back to the festivities. Where is my Gopta versus Masayuki? Let's go. Here we go. The grand finals. <laughs> oh shit. He brought his sword out this time. <laughs> so far, he just walked up and did a handshake or just did talk no jutsu and it worked. He's got the sword out for Gopta. <laughs> Let's go, Gata. A lot? Really? Is he genuinely that weak? Or it's his perception? Because I know that the Chosen One allows every one of his party mates to do crit hits and for him to always get his favor, but does that mean he himself is weak and everything just bends around him? I don't know. Let's see it. Oh! <laughs> the intimidation. He's just standing there. The presence, even though he's full of openings, it feels like there is no opening. Oh! What the hell was that retreat, Gopta? Look at him crawling back! Sure, sure. He's shaking! Ranga. Yeah, we already saw that, right? I, I thought he already had it, but I guess it was in the just... Like, was that voice of the world that gave him summon Demon Wolf? In that moment, because of his desire to win and get the fishing rod no matter what? I thought that summon Ranga was something that he always had before. Ranga forced his way. Fusion? Fusion? Gopta Ranga? F How's what's that gonna even look like? I don't. What the hell? Okay, I'm down. <laughs> Milam looks so bored, bro. <laughs> Milam's about to yawn right now. Look at Milam, bro. <laughs> she is so bored of this shit. Special move. Henshin! <laughs> Basically, Ranga that can stand. I thought there would be more goblin-like features, and I'm like, what the hell would that look like? Also, he seems to have two horns now instead of a single horn, right? Yeah, yeah, it's basically just standing up wrong, more jacked. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably better like this form, because like I was like thinking in my head, like, how are they gonna make this look appealing? Like like a like a goblin and a wolf hybrid form? Like, 
it's gonna look kind of gross no matter how i think about it but if they just make it predominantly ranga and have him stand up yeah i think that is the better way <laughs> Millum loves Henshin. Grotesque? Yo, come on, girl! Are you shitting on our own side? Oh, look, Diablo. What the hell was that? <laughs> we have the commentator, then we have the specialist analyst to explain what's exactly going on. A very versed skill that makes the summon beast power into his own. Thank you, analyst Diablo. Waku waku indeed. Yeah? True. <laughs> it's very rare Hakuro ever compliments Gopta. He's always so hard on his students, but when he's not here, because he's such a syndicate, right? He just can never let Gopta hear this personally, but look at him. Out of his students, also, daughter, Waku Waku. Look at those blush marks. <laughs> so it's just Ranga's voice actor. Forfeit! We could have won there. We could have literally won there. He literally said, I forfeit. Stadium out? Wait! Did we just lose? I don't know. Is that a stadium? How does that work? Because he doesn't know how to control his new powers and he loses? Hello? You idiot. The Akra looks fucking pissed off. The one time I glazed my student and this is how it turns out. His daughter also. What the hell was that about? Everyone right now. Literally everybody. Actually, yeah, it is the chosen one. No, 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 no. This is, this is not Gopta and Ranga's fault. It is the chosen one. Let's, let's not forget the chosen one is in play right now. The script is he has to win no matter what. For them to hype up a new form and then for them to lose because their powers got out of, out of uh, control, I think it makes sense, right? While also obscuring the power scaling of this new form. I think the audience is Milim though. How did he end up like that? I'm pissed too. Well, he got his fishing rod. What? What? Maybe this is a dub. Cause like, if we won, maybe this wouldn't happen. But we lost, and now one of the strongest beings in this universe is gonna train golf to him herself. Okay. Oh my god, Gopta training camp? It's gonna happen? It's actually gonna happen! We're sending her him over! <laughs> when both Ranga and Gopta maybe? I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but... Damn, bro, Milim's actually gonna train... Well, what does train really mean? Is, is he actually gonna get trained, or is Milim just gonna fucking... Just... Just fuck him up with their powers? Regardless, like, this is a new development for our man, Gata. Masayuki. <laughs> you won, bro. Without doing anything again. <laughs> Masayuki's what? Air throw? <laughs> of course. Invisible air throw, yes. And she just. Masayuki's so powerful, so wise. These secret techniques. We couldn't even see him being thrown. You're right. <laughs> the delusion. <laughs> Amazing. Masayuki wins. Masa. Ah, shut up. He's gonna say this, uh, and then everyone's gonna be like, oh. The hero is so humble. The hero has graced us with his presence at the tournament. 
And he's even showing such respect to his opponents. Wow. He truly is Masayuki the GOAT, bro. Oh my god. So humble. Wow. They're gonna glaze him. What? What is a baldy? Oh, shut the fuck. <laughs> the mental gymnastics they do. Yes. Oh, the hero Masayuki is so humble. He's giving Demon Lord Rimuru to train up for a fair fight because right now it wouldn't even be like close. And he wants to prevent Rimuru from being embarrassed in his own nation. Wow. Such a humble goat hero, man. The chosen one really does make him everyone so fucking delusional, man. True. Didn't draw the sword once. Everyone's crying on their fucking knees. I'm so glad we follow you, Master Masayuki. You truly are the goat of all heroes. <laughs> The ladies love him. Yo, who the hell are these girls? Just three random girls that we'll probably never see again, but with pretty great designs, man. The heroic chant wins the tournament, bro. Doesn't do anything. Oh, finally, Raphael speaks. Brainwashing. Oh. House, how polite will Soe be? Because all I imagine him is just appearing out of nowhere behind Masayuki. And like, having like a blade, I mean like, you. You've been invited to the Demon Lord's chambers. Come with me now. <laughs> that doesn't seem very polite. It seems very menacing and threatening. If I just think about Soe and how he works. Alright. Fishing rod! <laughs> yeah, bro. Elite four! Let's go. Damn, bro. The Minotaur guy got third place is crazy. Shit, man. And then we got Geld over here. We got Masayuki's cronies. <laughs> Random Ikemen Gata destroyed Mr. Horseman. Let's go, Gata. Yo, Milim is showing up. Remember, Milim's gonna take Gopta into like a training camp, right? Oh, lunch. What did Soe do? We said ask him politely. What's what's happened? Why is Masayuki <laughs> threatened? Gopta, number one! Stenno, bro! We had Diablo, Shion, Benimaru, and then the next strongest person, Injura Tempest. <laughs> It's none other than Gata. Elite 4, bro. <laughs> Fishing rod! Yeah, with Milim. Oh. Drew, like, if you think about it, it's an insane opportunity. Bro just won the tournament of his own fucking hometown with everyone important in the world pretty much invited. <laughs> he gets crowned number one, beating Hiro Masayuki, right? And then the strongest being in this, one of the strongest, like, Milim Nava is one of the strongest beings in this world. And then she invites him personally for a training camp. If you, if you just look on paper of what's happening, ignoring all the little nuances and the memory going on, Gata's resume is insane. His path to greatness is on another level. Ditch them. Ranga, you come with. 
How strong will they be after this? <laughs> Poor Ranga from <laughs> getting tracked like this. <laughs> What do you mean sayonara? What do you mean you'll never forget? What, what are you talking like they're about to fucking die right now, Mil? <laughs> Thank you for your services. Little meeting. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, isekai identity. It's very rare that we ever talk about this shit. Like, Rimuru referring to his Japanese name is very rare. Mikami Satoru. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Japanese meal, man. <laughs> That's <suffering. laughs> I'm not killing you. Okay. Start up a beautiful friendship. <laughs> As your henchman. <laughs> あ、なんですよ。かなり本音をぶっちゃけてくれたな。いや。僕の力ふざけてますよ、全く。漫画とかラノベが好きで、英雄願望なんか持ったばかりに。Pretty much what it is. <laughs> he like he cuz like he himself isn't strong at all, right? Everything just bends to his whim as long as it's not like an ultimate skills that like overrides his, but as long as like the script is like he's supposed to be the hero and in this heroic tale, you know, Masayuki always comes out on top. Mm -hmm. No, but like it, the attacks would have never landed. The chosen one skill would have created these Ridiculous situations where you would never even have to face off against the brute strength of Gopta Fusion, right? Do we? Shit, right, right. Nah, as soon as Masayuki steps foot inside, what's, what do you think is gonna happen when a hero goes through a dungeon, bro? Like the 50th floor will be immediately just like skipped to. その通り、ジョン攻略の広告塔になってもらえないかな。Good <laughs> you think this is intentional? Cuz this is Kirito's voice actor. Beta tester for a beater video game beater, bro. You think this is intentional? I don't know, cause like when I, cause like when I see this, I'm like, yeah, it's Kirito beater, bro. S A O. What do you mean? He looks like Yu Gi Oh too, but it's fucking Kirito's voice actor. なんだかこの世界も悪くないって思えてきました。でいいから、こまめに連絡を取り合おう。いいんですかこの国トイレもお風呂も勉強させているそのうち演劇なんかも流行らせるつもりだガビルロールディテーターマジでそんな先生大使もしかして漫画とかふふふ。He <笑><笑> Straight up, just not even copy existing ones, but create new mangas by having actual authors just step up to the plate. Alright. And that's today's episode of Tensura, and probably my favorite episode so far. It's just, you know, the climax of the tournament arc, which I've been, you know, been dying for. And it's just always so fun to have these, these, just, these battles happen with a huge audience. But the battles are just a meme battle. You know, because Masayuki's chosen one just creates these opportunities where even if he doesn't do anything, 
he'll win. And other people will then justify his inaction by saying, Oh my god, he didn't even have to move. His sheer presence intimidated Gopta so much. And people are like, Oh my god, it must be the air throw. And then Masayuki says, Nah, I lost. And he's like, Wow. A benevolent hero, giving the demon lord more time, how humble he is. Oh my god, no matter what Masayuki does, people will try to figure out a way to do mental gymnastics to defend his behavior. And I want you to realize that Gopta, this goblin that seemingly was a nobody, who was kept around as a meme character doing crazy feats here and there through season 1 and 2, is now part of the Elite 4 category in Tempest. And the Elite 4 represents Diablo, Benimaru, Shion, those likes, and Gopta is one of them now. And Milim Nava is personally training Gopta and Ranga. It's just this kid, his resume, the things that he is doing, the things that he's associated with. Are you sure he's not the actual hero? Goblin hero, bro. What an amazing, you know, ending to the tournament as he wins the fishing rod too. And who knows how strong he'll get in the labyrinth. Now, in terms of actual, like, diplomacy alliances, Gazel and Eremisia just showed up to help us out in the cash flow problem we have. We have an alliance with them now, obviously. I mean, we've already had them with Gazel, but more thoroughly with, you know, the Talion dynasty. And then Masayuki too is on our side, so everything is looking pretty good. Everything is looking amazing. I'm just wondering if there's going to be any sort of conflict that's going to happen, but seeming as this is just a festival and having fun times with everybody, even like that lolly from Roto family just showing up just to observe and have fun. I guess nothing crazy will happen, and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.